Uh, Mrs. Quincy lived in the South Park neighborhood area. Um, she was a real activist for the community there, helping them to provide services. She did so many wonderful things in that community to try to enhance the quality of life for the people there that they named the center that was located in Marisol Park after Mrs. Quincy. That was the original Quincy Douglas Center. Um, the Quincy Douglas Center that we currently work at was built in 2000 and this was a, another recreation center which is named after Mrs. Quincy. We have aquatics here, so we have a swimming pool complex. We have a recreation center. We provide social services and recreation. Um, those were the things that were really big for Mrs. Quincy. One of the things that she really loved was giving seniors an opportunity to go out to eat and have socialization and recreation. Um, we also have the community library, which is also named after Mrs. Quincy. Um, we're standing in front of a photo gallery that's here. Um, we also have the same photo gallery located over at the Quincy Douglas Center. It's basically of residents or people that lived in the South Park community. When Mrs. Quincy was alive back then, the demographics for this area, there was about 85% African American people that lived in this area. And now the demographics of it is about 5%. Um, this is a piece that was designed by Mrs. Quincy's grandson named Quinn. It's supposed to represent Mrs. Quincy and her best friend, Margaret Campbell. This is a sun van. Mrs. Quincy created the lift program. Low income, free transportation services. This program was created after she had her stroke in 1966. She was staying home and she felt really isolated and stuff. So she reached out to Jim Click and Jim Click donated um, 13 vans for her program. The program was designed to give seniors an opportunity to um, be able to go to church, to be able to go shopping, to be able to go visit friends and do different things like that. When I look out my office window to just to be able to see it, knowing that this person gave of themselves and created something that changes the lives for so many people and to be able to see that every day I think is wonderful. And one thing that she did like was she was in love with the South Park community here and she did a lot. She was a fighter for them. She tried to provide recreation, social services and make a difference in the community. And so those are the things that we try to do is stay focused here and we try to make a difference, a big difference in our community. One of the things that myself and the staff tried to do is work towards making this what we think she would have wanted it to be, to basically carrying out her legacy.